Palantir. Welcome to Palantir's Investor Day. Led and co-founded by visionary Alex Karp, perhaps the first CEO ever to open its virtual roadshow on a set of skis. It's a highly secretive data analytics giant entering a new phase as a public company. Notable backers include investor and co-founder Peter Thiel and Wall Street investors Ken Langone and Stan Druckenmiller. Named after a magical orb in Lord of the Rings, Palantir has contracts with corporations and governments across the globe to make sense of massive amounts of data. This way of looking at the world will literally save your institution and in many cases save your life. For the first half of 2020, Palantir delivered nearly half a billion dollars in revenue. That's a 49% increase. Last year, Palantir had lost $588 million. The lurching forward of Palantir on revenue, gross margins, contribution margins, uh, is because we built a product five years before it was needed, just like we did with PG and just like we'll do in the future. Palantir's Gotham software powers the U.S. government and its allies. Contracts include the U.S. Army, Navy, Department of Homeland Security. New case data that we just recorded, we can immediately narrow in to emerging hotspot counties. And it's working with Health and Human Services to help track the spread of coronavirus. But it hasn't been an easy journey. Not only do these projects require a lot of upfront capital from the onset, the company is also deeply wedded to its work inside the U.S. government, facing criticism from privacy groups. Even its own employees. Yet Palantir has not backed off. In the company's S-1 filing, Carp took aim at Silicon Valley companies. He wrote, quote, our company was founded in Silicon Valley, but we seem to share fewer and fewer of the technology sector's values and commitments. Software projects with our nation's defense and intelligence agencies, whose missions are to keep us safe, have become controversial, while companies built on advertising dollars are commonplace. Outside the government, Palantir has expanded its work in the private sector, now accounting for 53% of its customers, serving big-name businesses with its foundry software, including Airbus, Merck, Ferrari, and United. If you think we are going to change our internal culture drastically, if you think we are going to work with regimes that are not allied with the U.S. and are abusing human rights, if you think um, that um, that the future is going to be a super rosy place where the past ways of supplying software are going to work because enterprises and governments uh, do not need to be reformed, you should not invest in Palantir. We have a certain set of beliefs and we are going to stick with this belief, these beliefs. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.